about how it has got affected in last 2 3 months so over to you see uh, i am uh, practicing since 2009 2009 and uh, i started as an uh, advocate uh, but i had uh, science uh, graduation in science so i started uh, practicing patent also and thereafter i got uh, interested in this field and i took this uh, field as an opportunity to um, fill the vacuum because uh, at that point of time 2009 uh, there was very few people who were actually aware of the patents even engineering students were not aware of uh, patents and its uh, procedure so still today uh, there is a very few awareness about the patent procedures and all uh, there are other patent ips uh, those ips are uh, yes uh, many know but uh, uh, patent matters are very few are aware of now it's gradually uh, increasing everybody are uh, getting interested in this uh, field and uh, new inter uh, law graduates and now that there is a, a combined law graduation like btec llb uh, this is very helpful for uh, choosing this uh, plat- uh, this uh, field as a practice uh, as a patent attorney so in the, since you know i will uh, tell you the uh, various uh, procedures and steps during the uh, patent procedures and uh, other ips so it takes a huge amount of money uh, during the course, course of uh, registration and that mo- most of the that money goes to the attorneys and the patent engineers for uh, doing uh, search and drafting and then filing and since this is a territorial in nature so uh, every jurisdiction has to be protected so it takes uh, um, money at every jurisdiction according to their uh, per capita income because suppose in india you are you are able to register in lower price but in, if you go to us then that will be very much higher side and every, now the covid had affected so much about the economy everybody has a problem of money and financial concerns so even if you are uh, you are having good uh, idea which can be implemented and which can be result into a good uh, invention that can be protected in a patent or other ips you will not you know, there are very few coming to us because of uh, financial problem and since this is a very technical kind of work uh, most of the people don't compromise on the price if you compromise on pricing then that will be a quality pro- uh, the quality will also be affected so uh, there is a problem on uh, financial aspect but still uh, people uh, are choosing uh, some of them are uh, analyzing whether which one should be opted and which one should be kept aside and this and accordingly all uh, stakeholders are choosing the, according to their financial capacity or anything so uh, right so if uh, can i take in the participant to the slide Anna? Yes, sir. Please, uh, please take this forward. So, can we start with the slides? Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, our uh, give the second slides. Yes. Uh, see, our point of discussion will be ba- background and introduction of IPR. In the intro- introduction part. Uh, and then we will discuss with the various type of ipr and then patent procedure i will discuss in detail drafting aspect i will also um, go in detail uh, but uh, most of the various uh, ips will be uh, deal in very introductory way uh, third one see assets first of all uh, we must be aware of uh, what is assets and we all have 
are around us various kinds of assets what is assets that any asset is a uh, anything which can be which can have a value which can be converted into a cash kind so these assets are uh, actually properties property that uh, everybody is aware of and uh, assets are of, can be broadly divided into two kinds that is tangible assets and in intangible assets now what is tangible assets is uh, something which is uh, has physical um, physically can be sensed like uh, you can touch them and with, um, the tangible assets we can hold them like table chair and anything around us uh, uh, our home appliances are also tangible assets and there is uh, intangible assets which we can only create by our intellects now there is a very uh, nice relationship between the tangible and intangible assets our tangible assets are the result of intangible as assets if we used to uh, improve our tangible asset with the uh, creation of in intangible assets so like uh, suppose you have a uh, table chairs uh, freeze washing machine fan coolers everything that has uh, a sort of uh, intellectual property and those intellectual properties are uh, applied on that particular um, object at the as in uh, tangible assets and we can improve them to have better efficiency uh, their uh, better look better uh, aesthetic uh, appearance uh, their so uh, broadly uh, we are uh, going to deal with the intangible assets which is uh, intellectual property intellectual property means we are creating with the intellects now various kinds of intellectual properties are there like patents trademarks designs and uh, copyrights plant varieties topography of integrated circuits uh, industrial know how and uh, can you uh, change the slide okay so uh, what is uh, these intangible assets are called intellectual properties and uh, patents design and plant variety these three are actually the patents statutory right that has been uh, kept on a different category in various jurisdiction it is in a single category in india it's in different category uh, different category means there is a different laws to deal with this uh, patent uh, is a basically for invention of invention related to the utility utility inventions designs are basically for the overall uh, appearance its ornamental appearance uh, is uh, and that appeal to the eye of uh, the consumers and plant varieties are different means of uh, cross breeding and uh, breeding uh, one variety with the other so that we can uh, the a good variety can be uh, result given now the trademarks are as uh, we can see that the trademarks are the trade uh, marks uh, the marks which is used in a trade and uh, geographical indications uh, like uh, these are the indications which are very popular in certain kind of uh, geography means location and uh, it has some brand value or the, for their particular kind of taste flavors and all this and copyrights are the property that like uh, literary artistic work musical photography and these are the in, uh, created anything that is uh, created is uh, copyright which is like and trade secrets secrets are not uh, protected it's generally kept secret and uh, people it is used in industry to keep it for longer period of time and topography of cir integrated circuits 
these are the circuits we see in the motherboard and uh, in computer or the mobile there are semiconductors also included in this now what is uh, trademark uh, trademark is uh, can uh, we can uh, deal with this uh, next one yes we just see this uh, diagram this is a physical uh, tangible assets you know it's a uh, soup and uh, it's a tangible assets and this is uh, this has all the almost all the intellectual property that i just uh, describe it just suppose this is, this is a hyundai logo this is a trademark that once you see this logo you have you uh, identify the product where uh, from this product is coming like this that means this product is coming from hyundai company and the creta creta means once you uh, someone uses a term creta it means it is uh, taking you to an imagination that it's a soup and um, now the so this creta also is uh, very popular in the market and everybody once you use the term creta that means uh, the Im imagination of uh, the uh, and the goodwill that goodwill that is uh, that has been created by this uh, particular mark and the particular uh, source of origin like hyundai is uh, the kind of its appearance their uh, speed quality comfort everything attached with this particular logo so what is trademark is trademark is a mark which is used in a trade now the, the mark can be anything so any mark that can see primary function of a trademark is to identify its source of origin so the mark should be as such that it can identify the source of origin there should not be any confusion uh, with the other uh, similar kind of uh, stakeholders so uh, in trademarks uh, marks uh, is uh, one can register their mark uh, if that mark is uh, first of all distinguishable from the others that and the other is that cannot be confusing confusing with the other um, other parties now what and there are certain um, uh, this and and there is a uh, first criteria is distinct distinctiveness that means when a mark must have a distinctiveness that means it must identify uh, it can be uh, it has its own identity like uh, this is a h there are so many people like honda is also using h honda is also using h so what is the difference if they all uses h letter then you cannot identify which is honda and which is uh, honda so you must uh, uh, point out that this honda is has some peculiar style of writing honda has a peculiar style of writing so these h letter per se is not the source of origin the style in which this uh, letter h has been represented is the identification of source of its origin uh, so the honda as represented h is the um, mark identified source of origin honda has a different representation so it can easily differentiate between 2h and people will not be confused with the uh, different kinds of h so both the marks are um, very uh, well identified their source of origin uh, source of origin so it is uh, good mark and also there are so many other things which also play important role in identifying like advertisement goodwill uh, people perception consumer uh, perception and these all factor uh, long uses reputation in in domestic market 
uh, foreign markets also important role in the market we can uh, uh, just not go in detail with this uh, trademark only uh, that is now you can see the design this shoe has a peculiar design once you see this design you must uh, understand that this is a shoe so this design is a industrial design uh, everybody the anyone who has uh, authored with author this design can sell with the different uh, stakeholder in the market and they can earn the money and this design can be implemented on an object and that will appeal to the consumer that yes you has this kind of appeal uh, this kind of appealing uh, design so you can approach for soup and hatchback and so every uh, uh, car has a peculiar design likewise different object has different designs and you approach that object because of mm, the mm, uh, their appearance and appearance and that appearance is actually the design industrial design which we are listed above as a design patent design is also a patent that is based merely judged on by the eye and this is only ornamentation appearance ornamental appearance of the applied on an object the third now uh, you can uh, also have uh, some audio video uh, audio video device in the soap and that can play music video and that is a music that is artistic work you, you listen with the your audio device now the uh, third one is uh, which one is can you and uh, another one is topography of integrated circuit this top this is the topography and integrated circuit are ic a semiconductor and these are also uh, protected by uh, separate legislation so it will not cover patents so see all what i am discussing here is uh, which separately are not protected under the patent act that they all these uh, like trademark designs copyrights plant variety geographical indications these are all covered under separate legislation so it will not be covered under the patents uh, likewise there is a, a geography um, geographical indications the so once you use the term geographical indication it is also a kind of mark uh but this mark is related with a particular geography geographical locations like uh, you know agra ka petha basmati rice darjeeling tea once you use uh, um, basmati rice it gives you a peculiar kind of flavor and uh, long grain of rice uh, which has a um, peculiar taste and this is grown in um, upper north india mostly in below uh, under the belt of the himalayan region so if you grow a basmati rice in a south india it, it cannot be sent, uh, sold like a uh, um, basmati rice with the name of basmati rice you can sell it with other name but you cannot sell it with the basma basmati rice because this is a protected uh, geographical indications anybody who use it with other name will be sued and they will be protect very stand by the uh, that particular uh, community which has protected this see geographical indication cannot be claimed by a single person it is a, generally a community uh, community mark so like uh, darjeeling tea has also a particular uh, flavor and uh, taste aroma and uh, agra ka petha um, agra ka petha has also some peculiar uh, identity uh, uh, different uh, procedure to make it and uh, have a different taste and those who are uh, selling it with this uh, procedures that can only claim that this is in agra ka petha you cannot you cannot make uh, agra ka petha in delhi and so like uh, yes this is agra ka petha so 
so this is a different device um, different intellectual property which has been uh, used from their uh, for a long time and that and that can be protected in any uh, which is in prevailing in the uh, in the geographical locations and the third was the plant variety you must see that um, different kind of uh, different kind of uh, uh, hybrid uh, vegetables fruits you uh, get in a market and these are uh, made uh, with some uh, with the crossing of one variety with the other variety and the result will be a very good you just see this earlier in, in uh, 10 or um, 15 years back when you saw the um, tomato you will that tomato was not uh, very perishable in nature it cannot be stored for longer time now the tomato has a very thick skin it can be protected for longer period of time so protection will give you a better chance of transportation uh, to um, remote remote area or the city area and that can give you better uh, price when you sell in the market so uh, this plant variety is also intellectual property and this is protected in another legislation called uh, plant variety in farmers right Act. and uh, there is another uh, mark uh, thing that is called in trade secrets See, trade secrets and uh, patents uh, patents are almost uh, same thing but you I will discuss with the patents <coughs> see once you what is patent just uh, please uh, give it the different. I will discuss in later on what is trade secrets so what is patent? A patent is a statutory right given by a state in exchange of first disclosure of invention for a limited period of time. See, patent is a statutory right. What? It's only a right that is created by the statute and it is given in exchange of disclosure. So once you got an idea, that idea either can be implemented into a, um, a solid uh, implemented uh, implemented to give a definite result you can make a roadmap to implement that idea to uh, for betterment of any product or process that idea can be patented uh, but the primary condition is you have to disclose it to the state state means the any uh, country any organ any country any um, organization of uh, like uh, multi uh, any country or the um, union of countries you can say uh, where the patent office their uh, patent office is there just you have to disclose it in a prescribed format and uh, then you if that invents that idea which is uh, if implemented we call invention it if can be put, uh, protected then it will be uh, will give you limited period of rights um, and that limited period is for 20 years so you have to exchange you have to disclose the invention to the patent office of that particular country uh, and uh, if you uh, you you choose to not disclose your invention then you have uh, option to keep it secret and uh, if you keep it secret there is chances of losing it because uh, for industrial uses you have to tell the procedure and uh, uh, teachings of the invention with your colleagues, uh, your employer, employee, and your uh, staffs to implement that invention. So, uh, if you keep it sacred and manage to um, keep it sacred without uh, um, 
disclosing or even it disclose disclosing with your colleagues and employee employee and staff so then you keep it as a trade secrets and uh, you can hold it for longer period of time because patent has a limited period of protection that is a maximum of 20 years so the first condition of patent is to disclose to the patent office in exchange of that they will give you a right negative right which will exclude others from using selling or um, importing or uh, all these uh, the rights has been uh, listed here uh, so anybody who has no consent of the patentee cannot use it sell it or apply it uh, for sale or it import it uh, import similar kind of things in the jurisdictions which where the patent has been protected the invention is protected so it is both uh, protected for the device and the process uh, process also process of making the device and the subject matter so uh, trade secrets are those invention which you don't disclose with the patent office you just keep it secret use it and you will uh, enjoy it for longer period of time and uh, this is a very uh, good example of kfc fried chicken have not been disclosed to anybody and still they are uh, using it um, that uh, fried chicken very popular and um, they are they have uh, thousands of uh, franchise chain and likewise google search algorithm is also a trade secrets nobody know how they are uh, using uh, the because uh, you know google everybody use the google search and uh, they are uh, in similar similar kind of search is not been uh, disclosed discovered in, uh, until that so they are using it for longer period of time and they can if they can keep it sacred for longer period of time they can use it and likewise the coca cola compositions they are also trade secret they are using for hundred of years uh, so uh, there is a chance of uh, losing it if you keep it secret there is no particular legislation in india there is no legislation most of the country don't have any legislation so you can only uh, use it keeping it secret and uh, anybody can steal it uh, or you can share with the other person but this is uh, protected with the uh, contractual obligation the, you can sue them with a breach of contract uh, you can make an agreement with the employee employee staffs and other um, colleagues who are uh, to whom you are disclosing this uh, secrets now come to the patents Another slide nine number. So, just uh, before uh, this, uh, I told you that patent is a right, and you have to disclose it to the patent office. Now, how will you disclose? Will you go to the patent office and disclose it by your mouth? No. There is a prescribed way to disclose it, and that prescribed way is by way of filing a patent application and that patent application uh, can be of uh, different types like uh, here i have uh, summarized some uh, type of patent application the like ordinary application this is ordinary application is any application which don't have any priority you just uh, uh, you have an invention and uh, invention before that i just i am coming with the patent what uh, what inventor are inventions are uh, patentable see patent is granted for an invention for that purpose invention must be new and uh, new and also uh, there should be inventive step in the utility for having a utility it is also called utility patents in some jurisdictions. We simply call it patents. In other jurisdiction, US, it is called utility patents. And there are small, some jurisdictions also allow small innovations uh, which with, with 
with less stringent criteria of inventive step uh, that is called utility models uh, utility models is small invention is also called a smaller petty inventions in some jurisdictions uh, like china australia also give uh, utility models but most see most of the inventions are uh, all all the inventions all the patents ha must have utility without utility the patent cannot be granted and the criteria of grant also include novelty and inventive step now novel means anything that can any modification small modification can be novel with no uh, novel and uh, inventive step is a uh, tough criteria uh, which uh, will take longer time to discuss with it is it, it is a very um, big subject matter and you will learn with the uh, when you practice i will give the short uh, idea about the inventive step in, as the webinar will go on. and now the utility patents and the designs design is also a patent so how do you differentiate the utility patents and design patents the design patents design patent has only appearance the aesthetic ornamental appearances and utility patent must have a functional patents it is also called functional patent because of its um, because the structure of the patents or the procedure of the patent gives uh, functional aspect functional aspect of the like suppose wheel is round why wheel is round because not um, the creator is willing to give, give an appealing uh, appeal to your eyes it is the creator only giving you uh, round round um, the shape of the wheel because then it can it only perform rotational motion if the shape of the wheel is will be round so this is this round shape is because of its functionality the round shape of a wheel is because of its functionality that is why uh, the shape of the uh, the shape of the wheel is round now come to the various type of um, uh, patents patent is uh, there is ordinary patents now ordinary patents is a invention uh, without any priority you just uh, write up yes you want to tell me something hello yes sir uh, utility patent uh, sorry ordinary applications ordinary applications means uh, without any priority convention is a convention application is a application which is filed under paris convention this paris convention is uh, uh, under paris convention you if you file an ordinary application so you can uh, file in another country which are signatory of paris convention within 12 month of filing of ordinary application that means the filing date of ordinary application will be treated as priority date of during the filing of convention application okay and uh, likewise international application this is uh, international application is a application filed under patent cooperation treaty it's a uh, un organization called wipo and where uh, you can file directly your invention as an international application or you can file an ordinary application and then you can convert it uh, into, into in international application under pct within 12 month of the filing of your ordinary application and then uh, at international application at wipo uh, it there will be a search and uh, that search will give you an assessment of novelty inventive step and utility and after 18 month it will be published and uh, you have uh, 
time of 30 or 31 month uh, as per the various jurisdictions to uh, go for national phase what is national phase national phase means after converting the international application the you have to file in each country for this protection for uh, separate uh, they will separately examine it again and as per their uh, local law and they will grant, allow or reject your application and that con you know, filing of uh, application in various jurisdictions is called national phase application now patent of addition what is patent of addition is a uh, when you have filed an ordinary application and then in course of time you got some um, new idea to improve that ordinary invention uh, ordinary application the subject matter of the ordinary application so you can uh, make a modification of uh, the modification in the invention for its improvement and you can file taking the um, advantage of the ordinary uh, earlier application and file it as a patent of addition and and if you file it patent of addition you have different uh, advantage of annuity and uh, um, criteria of grant there is a list um, stringent um, criteria for grant of patent of addition because your earlier application if your earlier application has already been granted and uh, there is another application called divisional this patent of addition is also called in us pet continuation in part application cip and uh, in divisional uh, divisional patent uh, see every invention should be one invention should be filed with one application you cannot file more than one invention with one application so if examiner finds during the examination that you have uh, filed or there are uh, more than one invention in your in your application then they will uh, they will uh, ask you to divide your application or object unity of invention because um, and at that point of time you can uh, have you can either divide your application uh, with the claims only your description part will be same only claims will be uh, divided in various other applications taking the advantage of your uh, earlier ordinary application um, or parent application you can tell and um, there is a and division application you can also by your own voluntary you can also divide it uh, if you want that um, this invention is uh, has uh, more than one in the, the application has more than one invention so you can also voluntarily divide it now uh, okay another see now when you file an ordinary application you have to file it with uh, there is a form called form 1 and uh, where your applicant detail inventor detail titles and declaration part are there and also the information declaration and will be there now with form 2 you will have to uh, supply uh, the specification of invention you have to write down everything every minute details of your invention and uh, and the, the this, this is covered in the disclosure you are talking about so um, a specification can have provisional specification or uh, non provisional which is called in india as complete specification and provisional specification what is provisional specification suppose you are in nascent stage of your idea you are just start you have just started your invention um, invention and the invention is not complete you can just file it uh, uh, provisional application means uh, all the overall idea of your uh, what you is going to do and uh, without any claims because uh, without claims uh, you can uh, uh, draft your invention uh, all the scope of the invention diagrams and uh, what your technical solution are going to provide and uh, just file it and the provisional application is mainly done for booking the priority date because uh, suppose two people are doing the same thing and you uh, fails to file the provisional application in 
you just to file uh, your application and we uh, file their application earlier than you then that person will have the right and that person will be given the patent rights so you it is very essential to book your priority when once your invention come even the invention is in nascent stage of uh, are very primitive stage a very initial stage of uh, pursuit conceptualization so and after the filing of provisional application you can file the complete specification within 12 months and uh, you can directly even you can directly file your complete specification uh, with all the details and um, the down now what is complete specification a complete or non provisional specification contains um, describes fully and particularly describe the invention its operation use method so all the details are uh, given in the complete specification the complete specification can be divided into three parts um, broadly can be divided into three parts first part is the description part the description part you have to first uh, write down the field of invention title first you have to um, choose a title then field of invention what is the field of invention you can um, broadly broadly uh, mention your field and then uh, narrow down the field of invention according to your um, invention uh, field of invention then you have to provide the background what you are going to do what is the problem uh, problem in the current situation and what you are going to give what is the solution what the solution will be uh, with your invention and you can also provide the object in india there is a, there has been a practice of providing object of uh, object clause also but the us is all is covered in the background part of it. and then there there is a summary of invention there will be a summary of invention you just summarize your invention with the brief, brief description of the invention and then if there is any drawings just uh, enumerate the all the um, figures and we, after the um, enumeration of the figures descriptive figures you just uh, you have to write down the detail detail description of the invention with reference to the uh, di diagrams or the figures or if your invention not related with the diagrams or this then you just uh, like in biology or the biotechnology invention you just uh, give the new results your uh, results of uh, various experiments and uh, um, experiments you can put there the graphs and so like um, all the lab lab results are you can put there and then you have to end with the claims now this is the very important uh, part of a uh, specification specification the claims you know is a um, scope of the invention describe the scope of the invention actually the claim is equally gr uh, granted in the course of uh, patent so you have to draft the claim very carefully and very intelligently and as you practice the drafting of claims the claims will be um, you can draft better claims uh, with your experience but for simple term i can just tell you that um, those in most of the i have seen and even even many practice like that, that uh, they used to give the summary and claims pretty equally mm, the same thing uh, in claim for the summary part of the invention are reproduced in claim format in the, at the claim portion so the claim is a technical documents the uh, main uh, thing is uh, the claims can be independent claims independent claims and there can be and what is independent claims the first claim uh, 
which independently describe the invention and scope of the invention and thereafter other is features of the invention um, can will be dependent on the first one or the main claim or the principal claim and describe the secondary features or the uh, related features you can um, uh, in depth this this describing the dependent claims and uh, the claims has uh, different kind of i don't have the slide but uh, i can just show you and uh, can tell you that the claims is a very uh, technical uh, document it, it, the training actually in, during the training is takes two three months to understand what is uh, all about uh, in one hour session you cannot uh, teach uh, everything but um, for knowledge i'm just going to tell you that claims has different section like there is a, a preamble of claims then there is a transition phase then there is a body phase so in india what uh, there was a practice now earlier even today this is that is uh, now i am not getting that kind of objection nowadays so i am not uh, i am just on that's why i am telling you this is early practice was in earlier days in, in 2003 2013 14 even 2019 10 each claims must the preamble of the claim must start with a title so the what the title will be reproduced as a like uh, up and uh, so suppose a, a title of the pen is a, a fluorescent pen suppose so, so the claim will start with a, a fluorescent pen then the comprising the comprising is a transition phase and then what are the uh, component uh, Uh, what are the components by which this pen is comprised of so that will be listed like there will be a, um, a tube there will be a refill uh, refill or there will be an actuator and then you can put inventive step by characterizing uh, uh, characterization but in india there is a usual practice of putting or asking by most of the cases examiner asks for uh, characterizing in including characterization part in the claim so characterization part is start with the characterizing that or the wearing so if you write down a good uh, specification even simple reading of claim you can understand the whole invention where the invention is where is the where the prior art um, because the in body all will be there the prior art will be there your invention will be there uh, the inventive portion will be there so it is everything is demarcated so you can very easily identify the invention by just reading the claim portion <coughs> so that's like uh, my slide is not going so i can not show the uh, same i can have a short um, discussion with the by showing the discrete um, specification i can have but my screen is cannot be seen so. okay uh, so uh, it's not audible yes, so, uh, so i'm just asking hello uh, yes hello no uh -huh. am i audible sir yes sir yes sir uh, so thank you so much for sharing uh, such a wonderful insights uh, now the session is open for q and a uh, q and a session yes sir so can we quickly take some of the question from the attendees yes 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 uh, so there is this one question which is asked by uh, sri lakshmi uh she is asking that uh, that uh, regarding the pharmaceutical patents uh mm -hmm. she is asking let suppose uh, someone comes up with a medicine or vaccine for covid but mm -hmm. the patent process takes really long so how do they finish the clinical trials and ip registration to make the drugs available to people as soon as possible okay <clears throat> see 
I just uh, I discuss with you that when you start with your invention, many even this person are asked by the many uh, PhD holder and fellowship uh, students also universities. They keep on uh, they publish their invention and then uh, research paper and then they got uh, get nothing. Uh, there is uh, so you first uh, what you do is you, when you start your idea of implementing certain things at a particular time when you get the breakthrough you just get to know what is the, where the invention is and what you are going to do about it. then at that point of time you can book your priority you keep the um, try um, Whole then see the trial portion is different thing. You have to make an invention, and that invention after the um, you can make in a different particular time period of uh, period of time. You just book your uh, invention with the priority application, and then within a year you file. Uh, you have to complete your invention within a year and file your complete application. And then you can try it because after the filing of complete specification, uh, your right will be protected. Even it will become in your public domain. And the second thing, if you want, you can also make it published with the by paying a extra fees. It can be published with the same uh, at even uh, next week by uh, by giving extra fees. So anybody, even if even after seeing it, your right will be protected. Because your right start from the day when you the application get published. So if somebody is copying it after the grant, you can sue them. Right, understood, sir. Or uh, another question from one attendees. Uh, we are getting that. Uh, what extent of technical knowledge is a patient attorney expected to have? Uh, is he required to have a lot of technical knowledge about different fields? So this question no, no, is uh, regarding the quality. See, I am uh, not a. Uh, I am a uh, science graduate, and then I pursued a master degree in biotechnology. But I have successfully done in all field inventions, even elect mechanical, electronics, electrical, and uh, medical appliances. Okay, and that. Medical appliance also. So um, I have successfully dealt with the all kind of uh, invention. Yes, in some uh, some core inventions like even core suppose uh, electronics core elect electronics materials there. Then you have to take the um, feedback from the um, skilled person. To understand the matter, and by understanding the technicalities, you can do it if you practice the pattern. The main thing, right, if sir. you have a thinking ability, thinking ability, you can do it, even if you don't have any science degree. Science degree. Right. Understood, sir. Uh, so, participants, if you have any question or practical question, so you can also ask uh, directly from our expert. Uh, just you need to raise your hand uh, so that I'll unmute you. Uh, another question we are getting from Arman Khan, and he is asking like uh, three questions is clubbed together. Uh, so his question is how to ace a patent prosecution procedure, and is, uh, how? Yes. What is the question? Uh, how to ace patent prosecution procedure? And he is uh, asked another question: How to write claims and description? Any books recommended? And can we pursue patent and trademark at the same time? How to, uh, first question was how to ace? Uh, yes, a patent prosecution procedure. Okay, see. Uh, 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 first one, uh, last one. I will start with the last one. You can do it, uh, patent trademarks and all IPL simultaneously if you have law degree. Otherwise, uh, um, and for patents, you have to be to clear the patent exam, patent examination for uh, 
prosecution part of it. You can draft as a patent engineer. You can make a search with the patent as a patent engineer, but you cannot appear and represent for your attorney at the patent office unless you clear the patent examination. But if you have law degree, you can uh, do all kind of all other kind of uh, IPS like designs, trademarks, copyrights, and all other IPS. Now the um, claim writing is a very uh, technical. Uh, Technical domain, and you have to be in certain kind of training session. Um, it's not a one-liner. I can teach you. Uh, during my earlier <coughs> organization, when I was working, with the, the we we took generally two two to three months to train freshers uh, for all these things. So. Claim writing, you just uh, you don't take any books because most of the book I have uh, gone through are only repeated. Um, I'm not uh, very fond of books actually. You take the free uh, free resources. You go to the Vipo Vipo uh, resources. There is a very good uh, um, and there is a very good. PDF of uh, patent uh, claims, where you can find what, where is the, how you can uh, you can understand the claims, different parts of the claim, and, uh, and how you can formulate the claims. And even in Indian uh, earlier uh, manuals of the in India uh, that was practiced in India was very helpful for uh, understanding the claims. The first. Uh, Manuals which was published in two thousand nine. In two thousand, uh, it was also helpful. And now it has all all has been deleted. And for um, prosecution, you have to uh, be very sincere about understanding a different kind of uh, uh, case law at least, and free resources. And you can also understand by reading all the Uh, free uh, filed application. You can understand why. Uh, if you if don't you don't have coach or trainer, you can still uh, learn this. Um, this is very simple. If you are uh, you can understand by reading all these things. Obviously, after if you self study, it will take much longer time. But you can understand it. Uh, you all the uh, replies, draftings. Google patents are there. Free online patents are there. Even in Indian IP India websites are there. All the all are free in public domain. You can go through it. You can just see how the um, attorneys respond all objections and how they write it. So you can do it, and you can even train. You can take a training from the. Train. Organization which uh, are giving or imparting some session, so that will be more helpful. And you can self is you can club with these uh, two things. You can better cover with this. Right, sir. So, uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, yes, sir. So, uh, I one question we got from uh, Saurabh Jain, and he is asking: Can a lawyer from commerce background mm -hmm. practice patent law? No patent at patent office they can cannot practice for the time being. In earlier uh, earlier they were uh, eligible. Now they are to the after two thousand five they are not eligible. They can obviously represent at uh, IPAB as a lawyer or at the court as a lawyer, but they cannot appear at patent office. Oh, the only criteria is being uh, a science graduate. I hope uh, Saurabh has got her answer. Uh, sir, one question we we are getting from one attendee. Uh, 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 sir, he is asking that. Uh, could you please? Oh, sir, uh, he is asking that. Uh, could you please throw some light on the exam that you mentioned that needs to be cleared to be eligible for prot? patent prosecutor 
exam that is already in uh, oh, no uh, for patent yes patent for uh, sitting in a patent it is agent examination you have to be a dn citizen and then you have to be a science graduate and they clear the examination and for that purpose you uh, there is two um, two uh, papers one paper is solely on the law and you can read it with the brx if you can understand lawyers can easily understand the brx but those who are not lawyers only engineers uh, they cannot understand very well the brx they have to study uh, with some commentary or the books uh, like um, and uh, another another paper is solely for the drafting and uh, drafting and some client related questions like uh, real real time uh, real client based question answer so those who are in field like uh, most of the engineers who are interested in this field of work as a uh, patent engineers in different forms uh, for drafting a prosecution team so they can uh, use their skill for their second paper very well they are very well in, they will be very, for them it will be very easy to for the second paper but the first paper will be a little bit harder because they are not uh, lawyers so they can concentrate on the first paper with um, other uh, good books uh, you can search i have been uh, not fond of books so, um, you can at least you can read the manuals the manuals is very good uh, Yes. Those who don't understand the bearings, like so uh, they are the certain. Uh, yes, sir. They are certain online sites as you refer the WIPO. So everything is available online also. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, so, uh, sir, uh, we have taken all the relevant uh, questions as of now, and uh, yes, and I'll ask my participants to rate this particular webinar from one to ten. One being the very lowest, and ten being the highest. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, please uh, share your uh, insights over uh, the best way forward and how uh, COVID has affected a uh, trademark and patent practice so far, and what could be the best way forward. I have to tell something. Should I tell something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, sir, I'm just asking. Uh, in the end of the session, if you wanted to add something, uh, the best way forward, how how much COVID nineteen has affected the trademark practice, and if there is any uh, best way forward you wanted to suggest. See, um, COVID has affected the economic uh, economical aspect, financial aspect of. Uh, All of the organizations and individuals. So, uh, they for and um, for protection of these uh, rights. Even registration of right is a very uh, costly aspect, especially patents. You have to pay annuity for each year for twenty years. You have to make payments. Uh, for its uh, maintenance, the maintenance cost is very high. Filing fee is very high. The examination fee is very high. If uh, so far as related to the organization, for individuals it's uh, five times lesser. So what the organization can do is they can, as uh, for the time being, if possible, they can have. Their internal agreement, and they can um, leave it to their inventor. Inventor name to take the at least book their priority and all these things. And they can later on they can transfer it to their. Name. So um, this is the one aspect. Other thing is uh, you can um, this uh, patent aspect or um, the financial aspect also because the attorneys are also. Um, more in patent matters attorneys should be qualified technically skilled um, 
to draft the patent to draft the claims and there is scope properly and even at a examination stage they can uh, protect their rights by by judiciously uh, amending the claims keeping the um, interest of the inventor uh, so uh, many people I, I i work also as a pro bono sometimes but many people come with the this, we are bankrupt and we don't have money and uh, we want to file it see only filing is not a solution you cannot fi only by filing you can protect your you know, rights even if the right is granted nobody will stop uh, Will stop automatically. You have to go to the court to enforce your right. If somebody is uh, stealing your or uh, using it without your consent, you have to go to court for implementation of your rights or enforcement of the IP rights. So still, then you have to pay the money. So this is uh, something which uh, needs money. And if you don't have you. Actually, it's an investment. If you have invested in intellectual creation, then you have to invest in intellectual protection, and then only it can be granted. You you take uh, enjoy the fruits of the uh, patents and IP. So, yes, sir. This is. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you uh, for sharing your such a wonderful insights with us, and. Uh, it was it was very insightful and uh, practical i would suggest and uh, thank you participants for joining this session today uh, so sir now we'll sign off this session thank you sir for joining us thank you uh, for joining with law seco so uh, yes i'll sign off webinar executive okay thank you everyone thank you